My husband. My mom. My mother-in-law. Friend. Daughter. My four-year-old grandson. My wife. My dad. My sister-in-law. Son. Grandparents. My daughter-in-law. Mother. Baby brother. My sister. My grandmother. Father. Cancer is probably going to affect you or someone that you love. I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and when a doctor actually tells you that, it takes you into a just a whole nother world. Like, you're not there, but you're there, but you're not there. And I cried, and I cried. But I knew I had to be strong for my kids. They were the basis of me surviving. I found a knot in my side, and we went to the doctor, and they told me it was definitely cancer. That's hard to stomach when you're going, okay, you're gonna, you're telling me I'm gonna die. I was a freshman in college, everything was, you know, planned right along, and then having to realize that all of those were gonna be put on the back burner at that time. I did not have any idea of the, the magnitude of appointments, um, doctors, I was overwhelmed. Cancer care by its very nature is fragmented. You have an array of healthcare specialists. They don't just need to see one doctor anymore like they did 30 years ago. They need to see three, four, or five to really get the kind of care they need. We've got a wonderful organization in cancer already going on, but the cancer centers just spread out. It's like entering into a maze and you don't know what to do. To a patient that's very, very sick, we're bringing them up in a wheelchair. It wears them out to be traveling so many different locations. A cancer diagnosis is a life-changing event, and it's time that we just made it a patient-centered service, and that's what we're gonna do with this new comprehensive cancer center. When you're going through the chemotherapy, you're tired. And just to know all I have to do is go up to the second floor instead of two or three other blocks and to have everything in a one facility is a wonderful benefit to cancer patients. It's just going to be so much better on them to have everything in one place where they can just basically walk steps to get to their next location versus miles. When you're at a hospital that's focused strictly on cancer care, they explain things very well. You're not just another patient. We are going to be a destination cancer center when we collapse all of these services in one location to become a patient-centered cancer center. My husband was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and during that time, we had to pack up and leave our children within a 12-hour period to be flown down to Texas. So during that six weeks, I'm in a whole different state, a whole different environment. I didn't know a soul. So the burden of that responsibility on me, it's overwhelming. Even if it's two hours or an hour and a half or three hours to drive somewhere, that's a huge obstacle for patient care. With something like cancer, there's a natural desire to be treated as close to home as possible because of the impact on the family. Each individual has somebody that they need to lean on and everybody needs a friend. It's you, it's your family, it's your friends. And if you are going to Atlanta for treatment or if you're leaving the state for treatment, then you don't have that support system there with you. Being treated close to home is a good thing. Assuming you can get that same level of care close to home as you could get in those recognized centers for cancer care. And because of the linkages that we are establishing, those connections will bring absolutely the latest of care here, and all the patients will benefit from that connection. We're a major trauma teaching hospital, and the Comprehensive Cancer Center would put us in a very elite group. We would have immediate access to research and cutting edge knowledge that we've not had before. What's really happening now is physicians are coming together with other clinicians 
around a single individual patient and coming up with an individualized patient care plan. All the key providers there, we have pathologists, radiologists, surgeons, oncologists, a medical geneticist, a number of nurses, lots of people helping to make for a better care environment. The doctors are coming together to help find a solution to my problem. That made me feel good. These doctors care about us. Building a system that provides support from point of diagnosis to a life living with cancer deserves all the support they're, they're going to need along the way. The new catchword is navigators. It's someone to help someone find their way. It's like a GPS system for a cancer patient. It really guides them through the whole process. It is a very frustrating process. It becomes your life while you're going through treatment. You're so overwhelmed by the information that it's giving you and you don't hear anything but cancer. It's important to have a navigation program because you see so many specialists, you see so many doctors, you see so many nurses, and they're never the same from one hospital visit to the next. They train to take care of the patient from diagnosis to beyond treatment and to follow the patient even after they're through with their course of chemotherapy. The patient is their first priority and they treat every patient as if they were family. If I had had one point of contact to ask questions to let us know what was going to happen next, that would have been pivotal for us. Having a person to guide me through that step by step so I can make a decision about my life and then for someone just to say, okay, if you need anything, you can call me and help me. It's a, a piece in the storm. All that education is very important and that's what we as navigators deliver. That's our responsibility to let you know what's going to happen next. Anytime that you need it, we're there. The medical center has moved up the ladder and is in the top hospitals in the state of Georgia. The clinicians that we have here stack up with the best of well-trained you find anywhere. And in the area of cancer care, we are very much poised to be one of the true leaders. We are absolutely already a regional resource. And as we go into the future, as the baby boomers move along, this community has an opportunity to continue to attract the medical professionals that will secure the health of this region for a long time. It's going to take a lot of money to really build an integrated program, an integrated facility, and all the things that go with it. Hospitals just traditionally cannot continue to expand their facilities, keep up with the technology, all the new treatments, and all the things that they need with the revenues that they bring in and on the profits from the business. So we need for our community, we need individuals, we need companies to realize that if we are gonna have this extremely high level of care in our community, then it's gonna take philanthropy to accomplish that. Each individual can help this community make sure that the best in healthcare can be delivered and bring absolute value to patients throughout this whole region. And philanthropic dollars make things happen that might not have happened otherwise. It's not business as usual, working in cancer. It's really personal. It's a very personal job. You're definitely not doing it for the paycheck. You're doing it because you want to be here and you want to take care of the patient and you want to make sure their needs are met. The special thing about being an oncology nurse is that we become part of their family. And it's very emotional, the journey that these cancer patients have and they experience. And it's really an honor to be a part of their family. And they look to us as their life support system. I can't imagine doing anything else. It's such a calling for me. I do it because I can. I can because I've lived it. And I feel a sense that I, I have to give back because of that. I'm not just saying words that I learned in nursing school. I've been there. So I can relate to what you're going through. My goal as a nurse is to be able to give back to others as I've been given to over a period of years and to be a part of a journey with patients and to be able to go in loving ministering to that patient's needs and to be able to get them to that next level of care. That's what it's all about as a nurse. And I know that I'm truly making a difference in the lives of our patients. There's lots of people we take care of here that couldn't get care anywhere else and we need to meet the majority of those healthcare needs. It's, it's, I think all of us feel it's our mission. I see the Medical Center of Central Georgia being a top-rated, top-level hospital recognized throughout the United States where people will come from all over to receive care. 
This comprehensive cancer center is beneficial for the community and of necessity for the lifeblood of the hospital. It would be a great investment of your time or your money in order to get this facility that's definitely needed. All of these specialists for cancer will be here and all of the resources will be in one facility. It will be a blessing. It's very important that we make the most of this opportunity that we have for our patients to be able to get the cancer care that they need. Cancer affects every single family now and hopefully it won't be you. This campaign gets at the heart of every individual in this community because there's probably not an individual in this community that has not been touched by the disease of cancer. Other people have fought the fight to get the hospitals to take action, to make it better for the patient, to focus on taking the burdens away from the patient, and to have a world-class facility here in Macon to keep it local so that they have the faith in the hospital, they have trust, and they know that they're going to the best place. So having this locally definitely would benefit the family, the person going through the treatment, and the entire community.